He's been hearing voices and seeing spirits and shadows. of this hair I'm gonna read it off for y'all so I don't mess up anything this is their 13 by 4 pre everything yakky straight wig y'all have seen me do their 7 by 5 bye bye knots wig y'all love that one y'all absolutely loved it and so now this one is their 13 frontal so yes it goes from ear to ear as you guys can see i have it down this is completely glueless though this is a glueless unit but as you can see it is blending in seamlessly on the hairline with my skin this is literally a wear and go wig so you got the bust down middle part. You can also part it on the side if you wanted to do a side part. So just to show you guys, there is parting here on the side. You could do a deep side part, okay? Y'all see it. But it's just, it's nothing like bone straight hair down the middle, in my opinion. This hair can withstand heat up to 450 degrees. I did use a brand new flat iron that I just got out the box. This is 450 degrees and the hair took it perfectly. Like there's no burn smell, nothing. The hair, I bone straight with just one pass through. The hair was already nice and straight, but just with one pass through, it just made it even more flat and more seamless. Yaki hair is all the way right now, y'all. Get y'all some yakky hair. It is meant to mimic our own natural hair. So look at that. It's still lustrous, shiny, but you can see the texture of how it's just a little bit more of a thicker, coarser texture. So it looks more like our hair. And that's what we want, of course. And like I said, completely glueless. Do a little look like that or you can cut sideburns if you want to you definitely can put uh baby hairs if you want to it does not need it though like this unit does not need baby hairs at all but i know some of the girls baby hairs got them in a chokehold so if you are one of them go ahead and do it this is how it looks all the way to the back 
nice and long. Bone straight comes all the way down to the booty. You guys check out clay hair. This is definitely one that I recommend you guys getting just because it's so easy. Who doesn't want a wig, just a straight wig that you can just put on and flat iron and go. Like, you couldn't ask for anything better. So guys, check out clay hair, discount code down below. Links to their website, links to this unit. And yeah, check them out. If it looks a little different, your girl is recording from her phone because I left my camera at home. I put it on my bed next to my purse because I knew I was going to be running a few little errands today. Guess what I did? I grabbed my purse. I grabbed my phone, everything but my damn camera. Who does that? <laughs> Anyways, I've already started my day. It is Monday. It is Monday. I'm about to say morning. It ain't Monday morning. It's 1 p.m. on Monday. But um, I've already started my day. I've already run a few errands, but we are about to eat some lunch. We're at Flower Child, which is like a healthy like restaurant or whatever. My boyfriend was telling me about he loves Flower Child. I had never even heard of it, but yeah, he loves this place. So I am about to go in here, get something to eat because we trying, to, we trying this thing again. We trying this healthy eating thing again but we human we try we fail we try we fail it is what it is as long as you don't beat yourself up about it that's all that matters okay vlogging from the phone is so ghetto who does that jesus christ wig was about to go free flying oh my god yeah i got trash cans I'm about to get all my trash out my car and put it in there. <laughs> this place better be worth my drive. I know that. This is it. Flower Child. Never heard of this place, but supposedly we have multiple locations in Houston. So let's see. First impressions, I would say the staff is not very friendly. There was like one friendly person. He was a black guy over by the drinks, but the person took my order. Not nice at all. Like almost like she was annoyed she had to take my order, which is very odd because I smiled and I knew exactly what I wanted as soon as I walked up. But anyway, yeah, so I hope the food is really good. Maybe it's because I'm dressed like a bum. I don't know, but it's, it's just odd. I don't know. Especially because I'm a very smiley person. So, I'm like, hey, how you doing? And she was just kind of like, what do you want? <laughs> Anyways, we have a very full day today. Don't know how much I'm going to vlog because, y'all, me and my boyfriend, we're going to go on our Valentine's Day trip on Valentine's Day on Wednesday, but we decided to leave tomorrow instead. So, yeah, I have to pack today. Thankfully, I just got my lashes done and my nails are pretty fresh. I might change them, I don't know. I'm not really feeling them, but yeah. I'm just glad that um, I have most of my stuff in there. Thank you. Perfect, that'll be it. Thank you so much. Oh, it looks really good. This is cauliflower risotto, shrimp, Brussels sprouts, and then these are um, Asian glazed sweet potatoes. So, yep, this is lunch. This is what I have left. This is coming home. This is going to be my dinner. Um, I can't eat a lot. I am on semaglutide. I am not going to be discussing much of that on here. If you guys want a full in-depth video of me being on semaglutide, which you, you guys should know that's like Ozempic, Wegovy. I've been on it for, at this point, about two weeks now. It literally cuts your appetite, not even in half, probably by, in one fourth. So one meal is pretty much all I, I can't even eat. Like I'm extremely full. My 
brain doesn't even think about eating. Like, it's the craziest thing. But like I said, I don't hide nothing from y'all. I have been on some of side for about two weeks at this point. I will not be talking about how much weight I lose until I am at my goal. So, just so you guys know, um, yeah, I have no appetite. So, the rest of this will be eaten for dinner. Uh, yeah. But I would definitely try out Flower Child if you guys have one in your area. It's very light, fresh food. <clears throat> I do want to come back and try the salmon. Um, yeah. So anyways, y'all, let's go. We have a lot to do. I got to go to the store. I got to pack. I still got to get the kids. Ashton wants to get her nails done today. She says she wants her acrylics back. Baby, let's go. Okay, I wanted to just come back and clear up. In half a mile. Turn right on farm to market 1093 Westheimer Road. I wanted to come back and clear up what I said earlier when I was at the restaurant about me being on semaglutide and how I'm not going to talk about it and this and that. Y'all know I pretty much talk about everything. I get my fillers done, lips done, uh, Botox, body surgeries, teeth done, LASIK. Yeah, I'm a little fake bitch. Um, I talk about all that because I have no shame and it's just what it is. You know... A lot of bitches out here are on semaglutide uh, with OV, Ozempic, and don't talk about it. Me, on the other hand, I'm going to tell y'all the real, and it is what it is. Judge your mama. I don't give a fuck. So what I was saying is I'm not going to be talking about it every vlog because I'm on it. I'll let you guys know I'm on it, but I will let you guys know full details about it in the end. You know what I mean? It's like, why should I, in every video, I'm like, okay, I'm not hungry. Okay, I only ate one meal today. Okay, I only ate 500 calories today. Okay, I only, you know, I don't, I don't feel like I need to do that for the vlog. I will just do a separate, full in-depth vlog of, I mean, not vlog, video of me. So, yeah, I took, like, video of me at my starting point, and then I'll, I'll add all that in, you know. So, anyways... I just want to clear that up because I, I didn't want to sound like bitchy. Like, yeah, I'm not telling you guys about it. Mm -hmm. I ain't telling you. I ain't making a video about it. I ain't want to sound like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? When, you know, I tell y'all, I tell y'all a lot already. So, anyways, we are now headed to the mall. We're headed to the mall. And I was debating whether I should go today or tomorrow. I'm right here because the restaurant is literally right here. But I feel like I don't have time today. And I don't know if I'll have time tomorrow. So it's kind of like, get it done right now. Get in, get out. Grab what you need. Get in and get out. Don't look at no other things. Don't pass go. Do not collect whatever. Nothing. This ain't Monopoly, bitch. Get in, get out. You on a time crunch. And you still got to edit and put a video out today. How? I don't know how. But we're going to make it work. I'm in love with this bag. Oh, I love it. Y'all don't know, but I ordered the uh, boots and returned them because I didn't like the way they looked. But the bag in person, oh, it's so cute. Do we like those? Oh, I love these. These are understated. I likes that. That's for grown men. Okay, y'all, we got the goods and I'm gone now. So y'all wanna know something that's funny? I've never seen like an older white man holler at a white woman. Like, you know, it's usually like black dudes that's hollering at black girls, you know what I'm saying? Or... Y'all know my dude white, but he came at me, you know, like what I'm used to. Anyways, seeing a man pull out his phone and get a woman's number was just kind of like, huh. And he just kept complimenting her. He was just like, you are gorgeous. You are stunning. And I'm like, oh my God. Open the door. There we go. He kept telling her how beautiful she was. And she, and she was. They were both like older. He looked to be, if I had to guess, in his early 50s to me she looked late 40s if i had to guess it's hard to guess people's ages but that's what i think um and then they exchanged numbers like that was so like yeah that was just like really cute to see like 
duh, older white folks get hollered at just like <laughs> black folks get hollered. You know what I'm saying? I just have never been in the vicinity to see like the older white man got game. You know what I'm And you could tell they both had money. Like she had a huge designer bag of her. It's this company that just sells shoes. And the bag was literally like, she got like a few pair of boots. It's like one of those giant, I can't think of the name of the fucking company. It's gonna come to me after I put the camera down. But anyway, you could just look at them. You could just tell they both had money. You know what I mean? So anyways, okay y'all, it is 2.09. I was literally in there for less than 15 minutes that we are headed home to get some work done. Thank you, God. Thank y'all. Okay, y'all. It is after 7 o'clock. It's like 7.15 right now. We're at Burlington Co. Factory. <clears throat> Remember how I told you guys that we were going on a vacation on Wednesday? Well, baby, we're supposed to be going tomorrow. I know it's insane. It's last minute. I know, but... We trying to go on our vacation tomorrow. Don't even, I'm stressed out and I'm at the store. But anyway, they got Eco Gel here. The big jar, Eco Gel at Burlington. How much is this? $5.99. I wonder if that's a good deal. Cause y'all know the, um, the smaller one, you only, you save like 50 cents by buying it at Walsh. But, um, child, I'm stressed y'all. I'm stressed, I'm stressed. Everybody is stressing me out from every motherfucking angle. Everybody, okay? Even my boyfriend. <laughs> Shit. He's stressing me out trying to have me make a decision. And I'm just like, I'm trying to edit, get work done, get stuff. You make the decision. And he's like, it's Valentine's Day. No, you make the decision. I'm like, oh my God, please. Please, Father. Anyway. Okay. I'm in here. I'm supposed to be in here buying one thing. And here I am looking. I always have to come to the beauty section at these stores. Because it's like I need something every time, whether it's some body wash, some shampoo, some hair oil. It's like I need something. I already got some new. Y'all know Ethan is big on his skincare, so I got that for him. <sighs> oh, hair growth oil. Ethan was asking for some hair growth oil. See? I always find something to buy. <laughs> and it's so crazy. I don't understand why he needs hair growth oil. That boy hair grows insane. Do you hear me? Insane. And when I say insane, I mean thick. A curl souffle. Huh. For natural curls. I wonder if Ethan or Ashton would want this. See? I, I see something I'm just like, I wonder if they want this. I wonder if they want this. ORS. I think ORS is a good brand too. Okay, we're going to get it. Y'all know I love me a deal. I don't know why. It just... A, a good deal makes me feel good. That's why I have a shopping problem. <sighs> this is Pantene Damage Shampoo. We don't need shampoo, okay. What is this oil? Ooh, it's on sale for $2.29. What is this? It's $2.29. What is this? Hair food, beeswax, hair and scalp nourishing. For $2, we're going to try it. I might could put that in between my braids. <laughs> Okay, let me let me put y'all down for a minute so I can really shop hair and scalp oil. How much is this? $4.99? Coconut hair and scalp oil. Hmm. I know this is not skin bleach. I know this is oh. Okay, hold up. <laughs> How about to say I know good and well this is not skin bleach in here. It says shampoo, but then you hear it says lightning. Because what is lightning shampoo? And then they got the white family on there. What is lightning shampoo? I need to know. That's weird. We are in five below now. I have to get Ethan's girlfriend a gift. This is cute. Valentine's gift. Oh, it's dirty. That would be perfect. I got a little stain on it though. Yeah, I gotta get her a Valentine's gift. It's just probably gonna be candy and maybe some little socks, some cute little pink socks or something and perfume maybe, I don't know. And they about to close. I ain't know they close at eight o'clock. I thought everywhere closed at nine. Be a cute little t-shirt. Yeah. 
some hot, some little slippers, a cute little t-shirt. Okay, I think this is cute for Valentine's Day theme. A little kitten that says social anxiety. <laughs> I mean, if she don't want to wear it, she can sleep in it. I think it's cute. And then what's the body wash? What? Body wash? What is this? It looks like candy. Oh, whipped body butter. That's cute. Oh, this is cute. We'll give her the whipped body butter. And then this uh, donut bath bomb. In progress. Now we got her some candy. And I know I got a uh, reusable bag at home. Because what time is it? I know they're about to be looking at me crazy because they're ready to go home. What time is it? Okay, we got three minutes. Y'all, I don't know if y'all can see, but it's a crescent moon. And my aunt used to scare us when we were kids. She would say, y'all look, when the moon is like that, it means the devil is looking at you and smiling. Did y'all have family members that used to do weird stuff to scare y'all, like the crust monsters? If you didn't eat the crust on your bread, the crust monsters would come out of the trash at night and, and kill you if you, didn't, <laughs> if you didn't eat the crust on your sandwich. Anyways, all these years later, I still remember that. It used to scare the hell out of me. Okay, friends, we're home, we're home. Let me show y'all what I got. This is a recycled bag. Let me make sure that I know the little critters in here. Okay, it's a recycled bag, it's cute. Okay, so let me show y'all what for Ethan's girlfriend. And I'm just going to throw him in this bag because once he gets home, um, he's going to, of course, want to look at it and go through it. So I just got her fuzzy socks. I showed y'all this t-shirt. The t-shirt says social anxiety, size medium. For her to really fit it, because she's little, I seen her a few times she's tiny um she'll probably want to sleep in that honestly and then i got her cotton candy body butter this bag is actually too big now that i'm looking at it this uh bath bomb valentine's chocolates some gum this little candy spray, icy thing. I was just picking up things that were like red and pink, y'all. And that's it. And then these are for my kids. One of them is getting the king size Skittles. One of them is getting king size Starburst. And I'm going to wrap uh, $40 around each one. That is their gift. Byron will be getting his through Zill. <laughs> He's grown. He don't care about no candy. So that's that. Oh, and then y'all don't want to see nothing else. Did I get anything else fun in here? No. I showed y'all this face wash. I, ooh. This Neutrogena face wash I got for Ethan. And then, oh, this is just some extra, like, tissue. Tissue paper. Then I got myself two deodorants. One is by Degree. One is by Michium. There, one was two. This was $2.99. This is $3.99. Y'all don't care about this type of stuff. I just be buying. When I see stuff like this at Burlington, I just buy it. Uh, Ethan's Jamaican hair growth oil. Child, my boyfriend needed some socks. I, I, he always has me buy him his socks and undershirts. I don't understand why men hate buying socks and undershirts. He's so picky when it comes to like his clothes and stuff, but he's always like, can you give me some more socks and some more some undershirts? Why do men not like buying that type of stuff? I don't know. 
and then I'm just like, well, what happened to the one that you just bought? You just, you just bought yourself some new socks. What happened to it? Man, I don't know. I be running through them. They just be getting all messed up, and I don't know. But what be happening to them? I honestly think men throw that type of stuff away. There was a guy who I dated. Everything. First of all, he had like a legit house in Italy. He had to have white socks, white undershirt, white drawers, white bath towels, white sheets. Everything was white. And I'm just like, why? Why white? But anyway, that the, the color has nothing to do with it. He threw everything away after one wear. Socks, underwear, undershirts, white tees, everything. I'm like, you don't even want to work out in them? Like, if you get a stain on it, a little dirty at the collar, you could, it could be like your workout shirt. No. No. I just, I don't understand. Men sometimes. But anyway, yeah, he wanted some socks. Uh, what else? Let me get the kids. Well, I ain't got to do this today because, oh, excuse me, it's Monday. Uh, Valentine's is not till Wednesday, but I still want to give it to him early. And probably what's going to happen, Ethan, I mean, yeah, Ethan is probably going to say, can you just put it on my cash app card? Watch. I'm going to give him 50 each. Yeah. 50 each is good enough. Cause I was gonna make them a basket with like candy and stuff and like that. I'm like, these kids do not care about none of that. I'll get y'all one king size candy each and wrap the money around it, tape the money to it. That's all they care about. Oh, and then I got this curl souffle. I think I showed you this. Yeah, this curl souffle for Ashton. And oh yeah, then these balloons are for his girlfriend, so. I was just gonna put one like that. Oh, it'll stand once the tissue's in here, it'll stand up. So like one like that, that with the tissue on the inside. Yeah. And that's it. My my duties are done. Okay, y'all, let me, this might just be a one day vlog. This might just be a spend the day with me vlog because I am so, why not try to use this to open a pack of ground? Child, when the knives are right here. Um, This might just be a spend the day with me vlog because y'all, I have been so stressed out today. <clears throat> so stressed out because I think I may have said this earlier in the vlog. Please forgive me. I've been stressed out today, so I don't remember what I have and haven't told you guys. I'll know once I start editing and then I'll have to chop and screw it and piece it together. But anyways, our plan was to go out of the country Wednesday for Valentine's Day, okay? He gave me four places to choose from. And out of those four places, I was supposed to go look at TikTok, look at things to do, da da, da and let him know by today, Monday, where we were gonna go Wednesday. It was gonna deal with weather. He hits me with a curveball. The curveball is how about we leave tomorrow? And how about we go to this other country that's 14 hours away? Huh? Excuse me? What? 14 hours away and it's not beachy weather. I'm Cause all the four places that he originally told me are like bikinis, sandals, straw hats. You guys know the vibe, sitting on the beach, sipping out of a coconut. Yeah, that that's the vibe of those places. This place is a curveball, okay? But it is definitely on my bucket list. So we would have to leave tomorrow. The flight is at 10 a.m. y'all. It is now 9 p.m. 9 p.m. and I have not packed. 9 p.m. and I have not packed. Do you hear me? Okay. So, I am stressed out. We still have not said a for sure if we are going 
to this 14 hour away country. Oh, that made me nervous, it scared me. They say when things started, you bitch, you ain't living right. That scared me though, cause I was so in the thought. But y'all hold that, I'll be back to, to explain later. Let me answer the phone for Jennifer so she can, so she can help me. You're welcome. Today's Valentine's Day? Wednesday. But I'm going out of town, remember? So I just gave it to you early. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, my love. Oh, this is yours, Ethan. Acne. You like wash, right? He doesn't even have acne. Well, I mean, he likes face wash. You can try it out. And this is yours, Ashton. A curling that? gel. It says yeah. it's for natural curly hair. And it's coconut. Mm hmm. Ethan, this is the gift for your girlfriend. Come approve of it. <laughs> oh, that's a W, mommy. Body butter. Don't open it. It's caught. I want to open it. It's not. Why? It might got a seal on it. She is not gonna like this. She could sleep in that. It's cute for Valentine's Day. She could wear it to bed. She's definitely not gonna like. She's not even gonna. She not gonna sleep in it? No, no, no. What? <gasps> She's not gonna like this either. She's not? <laughs> this is a Valentine's Day gift, not a birthday gift. No, I'm, I'm she needs picky. She got a certain stuff. What? These are for, she could sleep in these. I mean, no. Y'all are crazy. No, mom, she, I'm telling you, we know Sydney. What's this? Chocolate and other candy. What in the world? Bath bomb? Okay, this would be good. Oh my god. This is actually really good. This is cotton candy butter butter. Mm, I love money butter. Yeah. Why would she not sleep in a t-shirt and fuzzy socks? <laughs> Mom, we know Cindy. She's not Nobody really even sleeps in socks. Yeah. I do. Am I the only person who sleeps in socks? My feet, yeah. my feet get cold. Well, she don't want to wear them around the house? Nope. Oh, no. And she's probably also going to open it in front of everybody. That's embarrassing. She's not going to even, you know, wear this. So I also think we need to go to the store tomorrow or something. Yeah, I am shocked. What? His girlfriend's a little bit bougie. Well, she going to get this other little stuff that's in here then. All right. We'll get put it in a smaller bag. She okay. We gonna just gonna put it in a smaller bag. Give her your candy. All right. Give her your king size candy since she too good for a t-shirt and socks. Oh, oh my! I have just downloaded <clears throat> about fifteen movies and shows. The flight we're taking tomorrow. We finally made a decision. It's eleven thirty at night. I haven't packed anything. I haven't packed a thing. I need to do a hair sponsorship because while I'm gone, it's gonna be due. Um, yeah. We're about to do a 14 hour flight. I have not packed. We don't know what we're doing there. Nothing is pre-planned. Did I say it's 11.30 at night and I have to be at the airport at 8 a.m.? I don't want to wear this wig. I want to change wigs. I, I'm so like nervous. I bit all my nails off. Y'all. I'm, I'm like, the place I'm going is a very, very like fashion forward place. Y'all know I am not the fashion girl. So trying to even put together cute outfits, I'm getting anxiety and I don't get anxiety. I don't get nervous. I don't get bubble guts usually. I got bubble guts, baby. It's right at the tip. It's trying to push its way on out. Like, I cannot believe we are, have decided to go on a 14 hour trip a few hours before. Like, this is insane. This is insane. The list of places that he told me to choose from we pick somewhere completely different with the flight time. There's three times the flight of where we were going to go. So let me tell y'all the four places. If I hadn't told y'all already, I don't think I did. But it was Buenos Aires, Santiago, Chile, or Chile, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, and Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. 
And the way we were, we were going to do Brazil is flying into Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo first, spend like three days there, and then a quick flight to uh, Rio. Yeah. And then spend like two, three days in Rio. Y'all know I've been to Rio. I got a Rio vlog on my channel. It was one of my first vlogs. I think it was my very first ever travel vlog. But anyway. So anyways, like I was saying, I just downloaded 15 movies. I just uploaded film to my computer so I can edit. I need to edit, probably add some more film to my computer. Um, I bought these headphones that say they last 12 hours. I think it said 12 hours. I think it said 12 hours on here somewhere. Oh, 10 hours of playtime. They had some that were 12 hours. I didn't get that because I think they were like blue and I didn't want blue headphones. But these were up to 10 hours. So I'm about to charge these up and pair them with my phone and pair it with my computer. I can't, I'm, y'all, I'm sorry. This trip will either be the best trip of our lives or the worst. We have not planned anything. I have not looked at TikToks or nothing of this country. Anything. This was not on my bingo card for 2024. It's actually like a bucket list place. But not for 2024. I was like, I'm going to go when I can go. <sighs> okay. Oh, my goodness. I just cleaned the kitchen, washed dishes. This is crazy. Anyway. Okay. I'm just letting y'all know what I'm dealing with, what I'm going through. My mind is spinning. If I can hurry up and pack and put some outfits together... Then I'll be able to get some work done so far as doing a, a sponsorship. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll be back. An hour and 15 minutes later and I put some looks together. I think y'all will be proud of me. Now they ain't just fashion girl looks. I ain't no fashion girl. But... Hi. Hello. <laughs> but I've got some things moving and shaking. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay, y'all. These shoes I tried to sell so long ago. I have not worn these in probably two years. Brand new. I only wore them once. Let me not say brand new. I wore them once. Tried to sell these. Y'all ain't want to buy them. So guess what? I didn't pull them back out to, uh, to wear them <laughs> they gonna go with some with an outfit uh oh y'all i can't it's 1 a.m i'm pulling an all-nighter i think after i'm done putting all of this into my luggages i'm gonna do my work i'm gonna put some nails on and I'm hoping at that time, it's time to like shower and get ready to go. I have six more hours. I'm gonna fall asleep. I know I am. I'm gonna, six hours? Like there's no way. Putting all this in my luggage, this is probably gonna take about 30 minutes. 30 minutes, give or take. A hair review, 45 minutes. Putting my nails on, 15 minutes. Oh my God, Jesus. I need, I'm gonna need some coffee. I'm gonna need some coffee. I'm proud of myself right now, but I'm gonna need some coffee. Look who's finally about to unpack that Cancun bag from the New Year's trip. She is her. Her is me. It is I. Finally. Finally, finally. Now, am I about to put everything away? Absolutely, absolutely not. I just need this luggage. Oh my God. Oh my God. My pop Hermes slides been smushed and smashed up in here for almost two months. Oh my God. I'm gonna put some of this stuff away. I'm talking about now. I'm gonna do something with
there's an indoor pool, which there's probably not, but I just feel like I should bring one just in case. Maybe we'll go to a spa. I don't know, but it's going to be way too cold there to actually go to a beach or a regular pool. So I'm just going to bring a bikini and some a cover up just just because, just for the hell of it. <laughs> it's gonna be unpacked with the tag still on it, I'm sure, by the time when I get back. Okay, y'all, fingers crossed that it all fits. Oh my God. And I'm so mad I have to put one of my designer bags in my checked bag and all of my designer sunglasses. Y'all know I am sick about it because that bag over there was meant for all my designer stuff. Y'all, I can't buy a trinket, a keychain, a shot glass. I can't buy nobody no souvenir. Where it's gonna go? I'm gonna have to literally buy another luggage. Where is it gonna go? Y'all, this suitcase does not have the extension. Y'all know the extra part where you can unzip and you get like an extra inch? This suitcase don't have it. I told y'all this is my extra suitcase. Like my just, yeah, I need another suitcase. Oh my God. It's gonna work though, look, look at that. It's working. Yikes, please don't break. This one got the extendo, the extra inch if I need it. Yes, sir. Admit it. Okay. I'm so freaking annoyed. The beginning of this video I recorded on my phone because I totally just left my camera at home. Look, had it by my purse, grabbed my purse, didn't bring my camera. But anyway, three of the clips have no volume. Like, I just don't understand. Like, so there's like some parts that I have to cut out because like it wasn't, it wouldn't make sense if I left the other parts in because there's no freaking volume. I'm so annoyed, like what the hell? Anyways, I'm about to take a shower really quick and then do a hair review. It is currently 4.45 in the morning. I told you guys I'm pulling an all-nighter because the flight is 14 hours. 14 hours, so I want to be able to sleep. Probably won't be the whole flight, but the majority of the flight, yes, I want to be able to sleep. And I don't want to miss a meal. Wake me up for all my meals, bitch. Even if my eyes are rolled back in my head, my mouth is open and I'm snoring. Wake me up for all the meals. I, I, I need to be up for all of them. This is the new flat iron Tina got me. So the flat iron I've been using, she bought me as well which is this flat iron right here, Sea-Doo Revolution. She bought me this flat iron, I believe in 2007. It is now 2024, okay? Very first flat iron she ever bought me was a Chi. That was probably when Chi first came out. That was probably maybe in 2005, around there. And I know she bought me this in 2007 because that's when I had my really bad car accident and fucked up my ankle and my hip. Um, that was one of the gifts she bought me when I first got out of the hospital is this Sea-Doo Re Revolution. So this has lasted me from 2007 until now, okay? Now my third flat iron is by Tina also, but this one is, I said by Tina, from Tina. Babyless or Babyless. It is a nano titanium flat iron. So, isn't that cute? My 
hairstylist, baby sister, keeps me laced on the newest flat irons. She's like, I cannot believe you still have that studio revolution. She's like, I don't even think that company's around anymore. I'm like, well, if they are, if they aren't, they, they made an exquisite product because it lasted me damn near 20 years. We're just a few years shy of 20 years. That's crazy. Let these get out nice and roasted toasted while I take my shower. Should I throw this away? It still works. It just sucks. Like it doesn't clamp hard anymore because it's almost 20 years old. I'm going to keep it just on GP just because it's from her. Okay. All right. So I'm going to assume this hair review is... Is this hair review gonna be? Let me look at my schedule. Let me look where my phone at. I think this hair review might be at the beginning of this vlog. We gotta see. Okay, I'll be back. Y'all see my booze keen on fits? Support your friends, y'all. Watch your friends' content. <laughs> y'all wanna hear something wild? <laughs> I don't know why I randomly thought of this just right now because this happened way earlier. But, um, you know, me and my sister's mom passed in 2018. She had a house that we tried to hold on to for a couple of years, but we wound up selling it in 2020. So the guy that we sold the home to texts my sister today a text message that says, Hi, Tina. This is so-and-so. Um, I need to ask you a couple of questions. Whenever you have some time, you can reach me back at this number. Thank you. So she, before she even called him back, she sent me the text. And of course, she don't know what it means. I don't know. What it, we, we're getting scared. We think it's about to be some legal thing, something wrong with the house or something, whatever. I think he's out of the time frame. But anyway, we were scared. Like, oh my God, is he going to try to do some legal, some legal battle stuff? So she winds up calling him back and she records part of the conversation. Hold on, I'm about to play it for y'all. Hold up, let me mute the TV. Heard him twice. Uh-huh. Even a voice. Uh, like even early. When I went first there, I was doing some work. I was fixing, doing late work I used to do because I work on daytime and nighttime. That's when I was doing most of my remodeling work. I did a lot of stuff by myself. And I, I would hear noise. Some, and then later on, I would hear walking. So, and the voice that I heard twice, it was a male voice. And I ask, I ask some pastors to tell me, yeah, there are time, time where if you spiritually strong, you can hear. And then I, no. so uh, my girlfriend's daughter mm -hmm. also saw it. Oh, wow. I know y'all heard that. He does have a thick accent. So in case y'all couldn't understand, he says ever since he moved in, He's been hearing voices and seeing spirits and shadows. What you want us to do about that? Huh? We lived in that house. Everybody in my family has lived in that house at one time period. Me, all three of my kids. My mom has lived there. Uh, one of my aunts has lived there. My Tina has lived there. My brother and his ex-wife lived in there. Um, who else is, anyways, a ton of us have lived in that house over the years that my mom has owned that home. We never heard no footsteps, never heard voices, never seen shadows, nothing. Okay. And this man says that he's, that was just a part of the conversation that I let y'all hear. He says he is terrified. He does not know what to do. So he's called my sister to see, is this a normal thing? that he's been dealing with since he bought the house in 2020. Child. Y'all can have a house. Me? Y'all can have it. If I see, if I hear a laugh and I'm at home by myself and all the TVs are off and I ain't on the phone, 
Baby, I will be gone the next morning. I absolutely not. Uh-uh. Y'all heard the terror in his voice? That man was truly scared. No, indeed. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought I'd share that with y'all. I'm about to uh get a hair review knocked out real quick and get this show on the road. Probably eat a little something and get dressed and then... We off. I'm back with straight hair. I'm in the middle of a hair review, but we're about to put some nails on. These nails are from a hair sponsorship. <laughs> I really like these. And pink for Valentine's Day, so we're gonna stay on theme. Y'all have seen these nails already. I had these same nails on last week, so I mean, it really ain't nothing to show, but I'll show y'all when I'm done. I already put one of these suckers on crooked. Oh my God. It's looking like a lion claw. Ugh. That's so annoying. Okay, nails are on. Y'all see, I'll be wearing my big girl nails now. Y'all, I be, mm, I be wearing my big, my big girl nails. I told you guys I, I got to start wearing longer nails now more often to get used to them. I would only wear them on vacation and rip them off right before my flight home. That's what I used to do. So now me wearing a little bit longer of a nail on an everyday basis, maybe I'll wear like really long ones for my tropical vacations. We'll see. I don't know. That's kind of pushing it, but... Anyways, okay, y'all, let me get back to this hair review, this clay hair. Y'all check them out. Like I said, it should be at the beginning of this vlog. Info down below. Mm-hmm.